Most folks think that it's a strange occupation. Some folks call it a deranged aggregation. We can't help it. We're just happy this way. Mama always wanted me to be a physician. Dad said he'd rather I become a beautician. But we can't help it. We're just happy this way. Cause it sure beats working for me. This is the end of you, Dippy Duck. Skip, save me! Skip, help me! Help, help me! Skip! in this town again. You'll never work anywhere again. Operator, I'd like to place a collect call to Duluth, Minnesota. Oh, Lord, somebody died. What? When the phone rings in the middle of the night, someone's either dead or seriously hurt. Hello. Uh, oh, <laughs> yes. Sure, sure, I'll, 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 I'll accept. Hello, Skipper. How bad is he? Sorry I'm calling so late, Dad, but things have been happening so fast since I arrived, I forgot to call. Skip, what's wrong? Remember Mr. Winkler? He sent me the letter and was going to hire me. Well, when I got here, he had died. Died? I knew somebody died. Well, uh, look, Skip. Don't worry about it. I didn't give away your old job at the drugstore yet. I'll just send you enough money to get home. Dad, I don't want to come home. They gave me a job in sort of a funny room here. Where's here? The duck factory. The duck what? Factory, that's what they call it. It's the studio where they produce the Dippy Duck Show. Well, Skipper, if you, if you got a job in a room, what's the problem? Well, it's just that yesterday, the network called, and they were going to cancel Dippy Duck. Somebody handed me the phone, and before I knew it, I promised that we were going to come up with all these great new ideas by tomorrow. What in the world possessed you to do that? Well, they seem to be counting on me. Skip, these people at the Goose Ranch have been doing this before you got there, and they're going to continue to do it long after you've gone. Well, I guess they will. Of course they will. You got them out of a jam. Fine. Now just stay in the background, listen and learn. That's all that's expected of you. Thanks. I guess if I were home, you'd make me a hot cup of cocoa to help me get back to sleep. I'm sure there must be some place in a city the size of Los Angeles where you can get a nice hot cup of cocoa. <laughs> It's your pleasure, amigo. I don't suppose you have any cocoa. Fresh out. I'll just have a cup of that with cream and sugar. Bourbon with cream and sugar? Oh. Do you have anything hot? Everything's hot. The icebox is busted. What will it be? I don't know. Yeah? Sure. As long as it's hot. Don't worry. I just started working next door at the duck factory. Welcome to Pancho's. Skip Tarkenton. Pancho. Yeah, I know, I know. It was the name of the place when I bought it. I figured it'd be simpler to change my name than change the sign. I was wrong. <laughs> nah, nah, that's okay. If you work at the duck factory, you're welcome to run a tab here. Fact is, if you work at the duck factory, you'll have to run a tab here. <laughs> like uh, Brooks and Marty over there. Excuse me. Hiya, fellas. Hi. 
Hey, Scoot. Skip. Oh, yeah. Well, I was in the ballpark. Hey, grab yourself a tush full of naga hide. So, did you guys come up with any big changes for the show? Well, I had a couple of thoughts. Oh, that's great. I'd sure hate to go to that network meeting without something really good. So what have you got? Well, I always thought Tippy's eyes could be blue. That's it? Brown? I'm sorry, it's been a long time since I had to do any actual thinking. What do you mean? But he hated for us to think. He said too much thinking led to the Bolshevik Revolution. We didn't want you to think. How did you do the show every week? But he always did our thinking for us. Stop by my desk, he'd say, uh, Marty, give me five pages of, um, Dippy in a Dungeon, and I'd pound out five pages of Sacco stuff just like that. No kidding. I'll show you. Give me a subject. Me? No, buddy. Of course you. Well, there was something that I was thinking of when I was trying to sleep earlier. The Wizard of Oz kept running through my head. Wizard of Oz, uh, oh, tornadoes, uh, uh, tin guys, uh, yellow bricks, munchkins. I'll give you some munchkin material that'll knock your socks off. Munchkins? No, I wasn't actually thinking of munchkins, midgets. Hervé Villachez. Nah, you don't want to kick a guy when he's down. On the other hand, how can you tell when he's down? Wait a minute, that's good. That's funny. <laughs> well, this is great, sitting here being part of this. It must be wonderful to be your age. You remind me of myself when I first got to this town. Eager, talented, full of juice. Ready to set Hollywood on its ear. Everybody has such great expectations of me. I couldn't handle the pressure. I ran away from responsibility. Don't let that happen to you, son. I won't. Buddy borrowed it the day before he died. Why would he have jungle sound effects in here? Some things are better left a mystery. Ah, uh, here it is. So, uh, how'd you sleep in Buddy's boom boom room? Not too well, to tell you the truth. Well, I can see why. Geez, I'd hate to get caught in here in a riptide. Well, it wasn't the bed. I just had so much on my mind. I'm really anxious about that network meeting. Oh, don't worry about it. For years, we've all known we could get canceled at any time. It's just one of those things we live with around here. We're used to it. But I'm not. I've loved Dippy Duck ever since I was a kid. I feel like he's a friend, a member of my family. Really? Which side? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, we met the other day? At your husband's funeral. Of course, Mrs. Winkler, how can I forget? Still deep in mourning, I see. <laughs> Gotta get back to work. Are those the jungle sounds? Yeah. Oh, Buddy played those for me on our wedding night. <laughs> yeah, well, we all miss him. Listen, I just uh, dropped by to pick up Buddy's mail, and everybody's talking about how you have all these wonderful ideas for saving the show. No, really. Oh, I... I can't tell you how grateful I am. I've been worried sick about how a person like me with hardly any show business experience, except for that topless stuff in Vegas, and that weak as Miss Dodge Ram truck, <laughs> was going to step in and try to fill Buddy's shoes. Well, I'm not too comfortable about it myself. Don't be silly. You look like a born leader. But I think it would be really presumptuous of me, since I just barely got here, to expect a bunch of people, all of whom have tons more experience, some of whom are almost legendary, to put themselves in my hands. Well, who's going to be in charge, then? I sort of figured it would be Aggie. After all, she has the experience, the know-how, the leadership qualities. Everyone seems to respect her. Forget it, Aggie. I'm not doing it. Punch you in there, I'll punch your lights out. Go ahead and try it, Axe Face. I won't do it either. It's demeaning. I'm an artist. Artist. Oh, just because you can talk like poultry. Punch the time clock! You got it! Hey, what's going on in here? They won't punch in. No, it's the principle of the thing. I've worked here for 12 years, and all of a sudden, she puts on a time clock, and we're supposed to punch in. 
What are we, factory workers? Isn't anybody going to answer the phone? Buddy Winkler Productions. Morning, all. <laughs> Brooks did it. Did what? Punched in. Why wouldn't I? I've been doing it for years. She just put the machine in today. <laughs> she did? That was Mr. Roth's office at the network. He has to go to Hawaii, so he wants us to move the meeting to tomorrow. Uh, folks, that gives us two days less to work on the changes. Oh, uh, so well, uh, let's hop to it. What's the plan, Skip? What's the plan, Skip? Listen, everybody, I mean, I just got here. I think it would be a little presumptuous of me to... Well, it certainly would. May I remind you that uh, this boy arrived on the scene only a few days ago? You didn't know anything about him. Now, I, on the other hand, uh, worked cheek to jowl with Buddy Winkler for 10 years. I know the business, this company, and all of you. That difference. Think for a moment. Would you put your fate in the hands of someone with uh, experience, savvy, and a certain uh, animal cunning? <laughs> or someone with a nice head of hair and a lot of teeth? Let's vote. Vote? How many for savvy and cunning? I uh, believe that's one. How many for hair and teeth? Uh, Looks like the teeth have it. <laughs> something drastic here. Drastic? My doctor told me to avoid anything drastic. And shrimp. <laughs> Taking inventory. What for? For when we go into receivership. Just want to get a jump on it. <laughs> I appreciate the vote of confidence. creative team come up with anything? We're kicking a few things around. We got a couple of notions germinating. <laughs> In other words, what you have got is nothing. Zilch, bupkis, nada. Buddy would have thought of something. Rowan, what's this? It's just a drawing I did to Sir Thanks a lot. We always sort of thought he and Buddy had a lot in common. Yeah, a couple of big, arrogant jerks nobody liked, but everybody depended on. <laughs> you ungrateful scum! That is blasphemous! Give me it! Peggy, wait, I just got an idea. Yeah, so do I. Oh, for the show. 
Listen to this. Just for starters, suppose we killed Sir Thanks a lot. What? Come on. We knew it would have to be drastic. Yeah, but death. That's more than drastic. That's that's often fatal. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's give the man a listen. Death always worked on MASH. <laughs> okay. With Sir Thanks a lot gone, all the other characters will have to fend for themselves. It'd give the audience a chance to root for them. That's a stupid idea. Those little pipsqueaks could never survive without Sir Thanks a lot. They can't fend for themselves. Maybe they can if they have to. Maybe they just never had to before. What about this, Skip? What if when they open up Sir Thanks a lot's armor, instead of finding a big powerful knight, there's this little, little skinny old coot inside? <laughs> That's great. Yeah, like in The Wizard of Oz. Great, The Wizard of Oz. And look. And we see that the armor's been rigged with these pulleys and levers. So he can work it. Right, terrific. So they bury the old geezer, keep the armor, and who do they put in his place? Dippy, I love it. Uh, yeah! yeah. Fine, fine. Okay, here's 16 solid story ideas using the new format in case you need them. Thanks. I need all the help I can get. Are the new storyboards ready yet? Just going over and see if everything makes sense. I'm so punchy from working all night, I can't tell. Whew. I haven't stayed up all night since my son Bumps graduated from clown college. Clown college? He was on an Emmett Kelly scholarship. Is he in the circus? He'd like to be, but he's freelancing now, so... If you ever need a clown... 555-H-O-N-K. Okay, let's move it. I don't want to be late for this meeting. Who said you're going? I may not have conceived this pathetic little plan, but I am still head honcho around here. You ready? I hope so. Oh, good. I was afraid you'd leave before I got here. No, and I never will. As the new owner of Buddy's studio, I just felt that I wanted to help out. Well, we appreciate that, Mrs. Winkler. I mean, here you were, working so hard all night, and I've been racking my brain trying to figure out what I could do, and then it just sort of came to me that maybe I could be most effective if I just sort of went along in the tightest shirt I could find. You're going with us? Unless you don't want me to. Mrs. Winkler, these people here have been busy as little elves trying to come up with fresh ideas for a new series to show Mr. Broth at the network. Now, considering their uh, creative abilities and experience, uh, you don't really think that little T-shirt can... <laughs> On the other hand, what could it hurt? Thanks. <laughs> I believe the real people auditions are on the first floor. We're here to see Mr. Roth, Aylesworth, Tarkington, and Winkler. Dippy Duck. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, please excuse the mess. We're in the midst of moving. Go right in. Sorry, I'll be finished here in a minute. Fine. I thought I'd open up the presentation with that. I'm opening the presentation. I don't want this guy to think the studio is being run by a twerp barely out of his teens. Would you mind hustling your buns a little? We're supposed to be having a meeting here, Mr. Roth. Certainly. I'm Gary Roth. <laughs> Just pulling your leg, Gare. <laughs> Aggie's got, like, this offbeat sense of humor. Look, why don't I open this up by telling you why Dippy Duck isn't working for us anymore? Not that he isn't a cute little guy. Thank you. <laughs> See, our research shows that you're doing marginally well with the two- to five-year-olds. But, frankly, you're in the toilet with the seven to twelves. So, unless what you've got to show me today can persuade me otherwise, I'm afraid the duck is history. I see. Well, then, do you know if there are any openings in your business affairs office? I don't believe there are. Well, 
Well, I gave it my best shot. <laughs> The changes I'm about to suggest may sound a bit radical. Radical is what's needed here, Skip. Oh. Well, good. You know, of course, the character called Sir Thanks-a-Lot? He's my favorite. I love Thanks-a-Lot. What are you planning on doing with him? Uh, you see, we sort of thought we'd... kill him. Kill my favorite <laughs> character? Uh-oh. I'd really appreciate it if I could tell you what we had in mind before you make a decision, Mr. Roth. Okay. Did I forget to mention that all this takes place in outer space? <laughs> if we do get canceled, I'm sure gonna miss old Dippy. I mean, of all the characters I do, I think I feel closest to Dip. We're alike in so many ways. Except he's taller. <laughs> Buddy Wheeler Productions. Hey, stop being Nestor Negativity, will ya? You got no faith. That could be them calling up saying we've been renewed for five more years. It's for you, Marty. It's the employment office at Hanna-Barbera. <laughs> See what happens when you're a hit? The word gets out, they're, they're all over you. When you're hot, you're hot. Hello. Hi. Hi. How about the mailroom? How did it go? Well, Skip did the best he could. We did it! Wow! Quit pestering me, will you? See, we thought we'd play a little joke on you by coming in here all gloomy, but we're still on! We did it! Oh, hey. So Roth liked what we did! Yep, I had to make a few last-minute changes, though. He was terrific. Show him, Skip. Meet the new Dippy, now known as... Ta-da! Starduck! Yay! <laughs> Starduck! It's me! <laughs> oh, what a day, huh? Oh. 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 No, I'm so happy. Woo! Hey, Dippy, you doing? Nice going, Amy. So, please, please, I just uh, do what I do best. I don't need my ego stroke like some people. This calls for a celebration. Let's all go over to Pancho. Yeah. 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 Yeah.